Today, I'm kicking off November with an insider sneak peek into the Time Freedom Universe. So let's talk about what does time freedom, what's the methodology behind it? And why am I, why am I so passionate about talking about it and teaching it? Well, for me, time freedom means that you can have more than enough time to do the things that are important to you. And you can live your life following a simplified methodology that enables you to make quick decisions, to stop the distractions, to be laser focused, to prioritize your day and live it the way you want to. So when I'm talking about the methodologies about time freedom and what that means, well, it's a whole compilation of methods and tactics and practices that are all aimed at simplifying the complicated. It's organizing the chaos. It's streamlining. It's laser focused attention. So you can do three and four times more in less time and have more free time to enjoy life. So here's something that, you know, my background is accounting and um, I was a controller for a manufacturing company. So I love stats. So I'm going to be bringing you some stats this month as we kick off November. So here's the first step. Did you know that 82% of people feel overworked? So let me tell you a little bit about my story. You know, um, I realized that um, I was burnt out when I got fired from, you know, a job that that I had worked so hard to, to get to that level. It was my dream job, at least I thought it was. And um, because of that embarrassment of, you know, being fired for one, but the realization that I sacrificed my mental, physical, and spiritual health because of a job and a goal, and I also sacrificed my family and friends and my overall life, well, that made me basically make a vow to myself. And <laughs> did you ever see the movie Gone with the Wind? That's one of my all-time favorite classics. And basically, I was like Scarlett O'Hara in that, in that film. I basically said, you know, as God is my witness, <laughs> just like she did, right? And I made that vow to myself that I would never, ever sacrifice time with my family and friends and give up fun and enjoyment of life just by chasing a career and just because I had things to do. So after five years of recovering from burnout, I was studying and learning and getting all the information I could about how I could manage my time. How could I be more productive? How could I enjoy my life more while still being successful and achieving my dreams and goals? And I got frustrated because of the lack of information out there. So that's when I developed my own proprietary um, systems, my tactics, my techniques, and that's what I share with you. So throughout this month, we're going to be talking about more stories about time management and how you can live the life of your dreams. So stand by. We're going to have a lot of fun this month. So I'm going to start a whole new series we're going to call Stat that, stat girl. <laughs> that sounds good, right? I'm going to bring you some stats. And I'm going to bring you some theories and some methods and some tactics. And I hope you enjoy it. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.